it going. Hey guys, so I finally was able to put together this When the Saints Come Marching In. I've got a recording of it that you can listen to. It's pretty good. It was my first time out of the stable with the piece and it went very well and I got the expected results. In other words, you can see, you can see at the end of the service, I played down by the U.S. Capitol, a Lutheran church, and, uh, you know, people were standing up, all right, check at the church off the list. I went to church, did my, you know, commitment, sang through all the hymns. And, you know, there was a, you could see in their physiology. So music triangulates through physiology for effects. And so I kind of used, I put, I, I kind of did a little bit of introduction with, um, um, he's got the whole world in his hands. Another familiar piece that we know that just kind of led up to the um, um, led up to the presentation of when the saints go marching in, which is very effective therapeutically. And at the end of it all, what I saw in the congregation was they got up, all right, I'm tired, it's Sunday, check, let's go down, let's talk a little bit, and you know, this is my thing on Sunday morning. To at the end, it was like, yay! Right? So this is the physiological uh, triangulation of music and form and structure with outcomes. So um, I did... Uh, add uh, an abbreviated version of another one of Mark Hayes' arrangements, which is very good, which is he's got the whole hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. You know, it has kind of a jazzy thing. It just kind of a, it lets you know, you can start talking now. And I wanted them to talk during it. I didn't want to like hold them captive with music. Although sometimes you need that therapeutically. You need absolute captive listener but my goal in a postlude is to get them you know engaged with each other so i had a, a brief introduction with um uh, the he's got the whole world in his hands and it ended with uh and then i started this So what happens there? You just, I, I, I played the first uh, two measures. So our heart rate after a church service is bump, 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 bump. You know, we're relaxed, right? We've sung, unless you're a child in there and they're, not, they're always a little more activated. And that play, this plays into that too. That's why it's so brilliant. That's why it's such a great therapeutic piece. And real therapeutic pieces are hard to come by. And this is one of them. So th let's talk about why it works. So we can make a whole bunch of things that work. So this one really works. So uh, the, the congregation was, you know, you can tell when they, you can see them. They kind of, oh, okay, yeah. Then five minutes later, like, yeah. You can hear that in the background when I finish. Now that's where this piece takes them. That's precision music programming that's precision medicine and music as medicine just like doctors precision you know prescribe and they they know what you're going to get at the end because it's been so well studied and guess what it's also physiology yay so um let's so let's look at this so we got bump bump heart rate manipulation is the flower in the cake i say to really it's so important to thoroughly understand physiology and how the heart rate kind of bumps us around and so um uh rhythm manipulates our this heart rate variability to trigger physiological outcomes how does that work so bump bump adults 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 it may be going faster than that but our physiology is like all right i went to church i'm you know check so the heart rate may be going bump 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 but the physiology is 
oh man, what next, right? Sometimes, not always, but you know, that. so that enthusiasm, that's a physiology too. And my heart rate is still going bump, 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 but my physiology is going, yeah, yeah. I'm ready for it to go faster. You know? So it, it's understanding how we can guide and shape. And if someone's suffering, we can slowly transform them. So what does this piece do? Bah, so, bah, uh, da, 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 right? There's a lot to unpack there. Let's try it. So, we're doing a lean in. Da, da, bum, 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 bum. So, bum, 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 bum. So, bum, 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 bum. Ba ba bum bum ba 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 bum bum. So the last one irons out the heart rate. Bum bum. That kind of puts you at a bit of an attention part. Leading up. Ba ba dum ba dum bum. It it it's before the heart rate. Bum bum ba ba. I'm late. You get this like your physiology says. Oh, what, what's going on? We're late. And it doubles that. So it comes in early, adds a little baby extra heart rate, and it irons it out. We need to be able to analyze this as musicians, as therapists, as precision music medical professionals, and to explain it and to know what we're doing. This piece, that's only that's the second measure. <laughs> and the first one, bottom, it's different than uh so there's a lean, there's a tonality element as well. It's not just heart rate, but heart rate's the flower and the cake. It's like adding a little lemon zest. Da dun 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 ba ba bump bump and we respond to that so let's do these first two measures again ba da bump bump ba da 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 dum bump and as a, as a professional we get to really experience it and know what we're delivering and i tell you it delivered this piece delivered what is this piece chattanooga choo choo also delivers what is that piece? Very similar. There's some similar things in there, plus implicit long-term memory things. And then what happens? It goes up a perfect fifth. Va it's the, uh, you know, walk it off. Walk it off. Walk it off. Da dum bum bum. Vak it off. It's a perfect fourth. Va da dum bum bum. Then it goes back down again. Da dum dum dum. And then it adds a jazz. Da 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 dum ba dum. You know, add something. Whoa, I like that. They say. And again, another syncopation. Now, except it's lower down. That's a vagus nerve. You can expect that to be open up, you know, in a deeper sense, the physiology. And then the tune. And they know that tune. And they immediately say, oh, that tune. I mean, they're talking away, right? They're not, they don't know they're being treated. And that's what good medicine does. You know, we take the medicine. We don't know the medicine's causing all these effects, but it is. And uh, et cetera. And it dum bum pa pump bum bum ba bum bum ba ba bum 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 ba bum. And so that is a straight on, even out, mostly even out with a little bit of kick in the ends of the phrases. Uh, this could be uh, uh, analyzed ad infinitum with students and such because there's so much in there. Um, and dun, 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 dun. 
Again, that's why performance and lecturing doesn't always go together, but it is possible. I just need to prepare. It's a big deal to have a very precision surgery and talk about it at the same time. You're either talking about it or you're either doing it. So um, you can hear, I just wanted to show how heart rate expectations bump, 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 bump bump, bump, after the surgery, and the physiology, if you see them standing up and they're, you know, you know, okay, kind of in a, in a very neutral place. Then it pans back to them about midway through, and they're talking away. They're talking away with this in the background. They're not listening to this. This is undergirding their engagement oh this music is they don't not saying that it themselves but this mute that music is engage prompting their engagement with each other what's going on how are we gonna uh uh now what right so they went from like okay service is over same service and i see that a fair amount in churches you know you check the church attendance off the list and get on with your day but my goal is to, you know, have them marching out of there. And I often choose music that, you know, ba dum bum ba dum bum ba ba bum bum ba dum bum ba dum bum ba dum bum ba It's one of my favorite exit pieces. So let's look at that's a very simple bum 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 ba bum bum ba bum 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 adds an extra heart rate, right? It's a healthy uh da uh bum bum uh 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 ba it pops you up. It bo it, it is, creates a buoyancy of spirit, physiology, uh, a mood. Uh, uh, whew. It's an evolutionary thing as well. And I look at that. You know, I study the our evolutionary paradigms of physiology, waking up in a very active environment, and how we respond to that. That's heart rate variability. You know, we find this big sunny meadow. You're like, oh wow, I'm. This is this is safe. This is safe. And then a you know a, a, a big yellow cobra snake with its fangs pops up. God, whew, and your heart dun 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 dun. So you know, there's there's a lot of um, background study information, um, understanding of physiology, understanding of heart rate variability. And then any number of uh, tonal um, twists and changes. Uh, understanding of synesthesia is where you know uh, I'm I'm hoping to uh, step into sooner than later as far as programming. And that well-known synesthetes like Amy Beach and uh, Oliver Messiaen and others. Um, that that understanding of colors in music is potentially transferable. So, and that is also evolution. You know, we meet someone and we're, we pair with them physiologically. Not necessarily what they say, because language is pretty recent. Sounds they make, mm -hmm. And my primary uh, specialty is as a vocalist, and I still sing professionally, and uh, had a great career, and I'm, I'm a master vocalist. So I have trained in that field and pretty well understand that and how we evolved through the sustained messaging, sustained vocal, sounds and so some people have turned that into an opera career we're doing it other ways now but there's a lot of crack you know just not breathing and just kind of popping it through the crack in the pipe here right that's not singing that is not even breathing in fact it kind of it's very hypoxic speaking i find unless you consciously breathe 
and speak on a, uh, you know, a, 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 um, a good inhalation that oxygenates your brain and system. And it's very interesting. That's another topic altogether. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. Glad to be here with you. Bye.